Hi everybody, it's Natalie Glibova. I am Miss Universe 2005 author and a motivational speaker. Now I want to talk to you about Club Gig and their newest star coach, my personal friend Kiki Yamakawa, who is the most fabulous and outrageous person that I have ever met. I met Kiki for the first time when we were working together, when he was styling me, he was teaching me how to be more confident, how to communicate better with my audience, how to style myself for, uh, to make an impression. And we had the most amazing time together. We had so many laughs. He always cracks me up. Kiki has the most colorful personality and I'm sure that you're going to love working with him. So Kiki is now available for his group classes, private coaching. So book Kike because he is going to transform your life, make you into that stylish, confident, sophisticated woman that only you know how to be and Kike can help you. Book him now on Club Gig. Have fun guys. This next tip is about how we sit. We call it sitting or standing up. So when we sit, we always want to look elegant. Yes. And cool, but never abrupt or crazy. Because those are not signs, signs, those are not, it's not a sign of, 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 a, of a good attractive person. So if we want to be attractive, so we want to catch the right one, we have to good, have good mannerisms and a good way to sit. So today we have these two chairs and when you sit, try to go slowly, especially if you're a girl and you have high heels, try to always look at the chair first, look where you're going to sit and place yourself slowly, slowly and then accommodate, fix yourself and stretch that is fine and we are right sat down okay let's do it one more time hi let's have a seat sure sure or you can change the other way or you can sit the other way and still try standing up straight posture and as we talk we always straight never slouching never with a gut out okay stacking it in straight posture nice face and whatever we do even if we laugh we turn around always try to be straight because it gives and projects strength and confidence okay This next one is called hairography. Like choreography, but with the hair. So together is hairography. Good. So when you want to do, oh sorry, when you want to look a little bit more sassy okay. with the guy next to you, or even with the girls, you want to show all that you're the coolest one, you're the OG of the gang. You, if, I wish I had long hair, because if I had long hair, I could do it too, but let's pretend we have long hair. And Lily today has her ponytail, so she's going to be playing with her ponytail. So you can, as you talk, you can swing it from one way to the other, okay? Let's swing it. One, two, yes! And you put it to the other side. Or you can just play it and just okay, swing it. Just swing it around. the other side and then you yes. just... Yeah. Okay. Yes. Or, or if your hair is here, you can mm -hmm. swing it and look over there and bring it back. So you can play with that hair in a way that makes you feel a little bit sassy and it makes a woman look more feminine and more attractive too. But you have to own it. So you have to put all of the other tips that we said before, which is self-confidence, feel good inside, and if you put all of them together, then when you do the choreography or the hands or the smizing and all of those, they look good. When you do it only 100%, remember, all or nothing. Or nothing. All right? So let's move 
three, let's do three, three moves. Okay. Three hierographies. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's do three hierography moves. And the first one is going to be, you, your hair is a little bit here in the front, mm -hmm. and as you're talking to the person you like, yes. you're gonna move it and throw it back with your head, okay. in a head motion. Yeah. As you talk, you keep talking to them and looking at them. So that's one. Okay. And then number two, we're gonna play with the hair, play it and let go a little bit. Just to tease a little bit the person we like. Okay. And then, on number three and the last one, we are going to look at the end to the guy that we like over there. So you bring your head here and then you move it. Move it and then you look at him. Very. And as you look, smile or squint. Smile or squint. Okay. You. Sure. You, yes? Okay. Yeah. With number one. And one. Number two, play with your hair. And let go. And number three, bring your hair here. And we're gonna look at the guy we, li we like. One, two, look. Good. So these are tips that you can practice at home in front of your best friend. Which is that? Mirror. Is your mirror. Yes, exactly. And you know why the mirror is your best friend? Because it tells you when you look good and... When you look bad. Exactly. Both of them. They are always, always there to tell you if you look your best. So practice in front of the mirror and over and over again until you get that guy that you want. We are on the third chapter and this one is mannerisms. So we are still here and we are still here with Lily, the beautiful Lily that is still helping you and I know for your eyes she is helping a lot like she's helping me to explain all of this to you so the next point that we're going to talk about is mannerisms what are mannerisms mannerisms are the way you move the way you express yourself the way you maybe use your hands like you know how italians they have they talk with their hands they're so expressive and animated those are the types of things that make and give a person a personality and when we have personality somehow we are just more attractive to people we get people's attention mm -hmm. so if you want to do that then feel free to do that because that is a plus to your self-confidence and to do that you have to have self-confidence right yeah. so what's your main point of, of what do you think is your self-confidence first of all actually the self-confidence comes from within when you believe yourself that you're looking good, when you trust yourself that what you are is perfect, that is the first confidence. Right? Exactly, exactly. Confidence is a virtue that comes from, from within. But sometimes, you know, we don't have, we don't feel that confidence. Some days we don't feel a hundred percent. So to feel confident on the moment that you have to portray and you want to look good, still when you don't feel well and you don't feel your hundred percent. Remember, my tip is, I, what I do is, I remember the things that make me happy. My husband, my two beautiful babies, my dogs, my friends, my best friends, my family. Things that make you feel good and confident, that is what gives you the boost to feel back to confident the days that we are not feeling 100%. So, that's confidence. Tip for now. This next tip is hands. Your hands are very important because the hands show what the real feeling that you're feeling at the moment mm -hmm. is. So if you're nervous, normally people that are nervous, they fidget, they fidgeting, they, they're shaking their feet and their hands always moving and they show uncertainty. They show uncertainty, they show uh, that you're nervous, so if you're nervous or you're in any mood that doesn't show 
that won't show that you are 100% strong, then it will show in your hands. So be careful. Whatever you do, keep them straight, or yes, right here, or that's right. Just firm hands, not fidgeting, not moving, not scratching. Scratching your head is a sign of not confidence. Like, you don't know what to do, you know? So always you wanna look confident, you show it in this mannerism, which is hands. That's, that's right. Hmm, and you firm. Hmm, okay, that's correct. But never, never, whatever it is, never start featuring or scratching or like doing things that show that. So, strong, firm hands. This next one is called smile. Smile with your eyes. So, I'm gonna do it to the camera and then we can do it to each other. Okay. And then we do it to the camera. So when you smile, you smile with your eyes. Without having to do smile with the face, you smile with the eyes. So you look straight and you go... Right? Now, we're gonna do it to each other. Okay. okay? Then we look one, two. Good. She has a perfect smile thing. Now let's do it together with the camera. Okay. Right? We look away to the side. Mm -hmm. One, two, look. Good. One more time. Yeah. We look at each other and then we look away. One, two, go. Good. That's a smizing. And not a smizing. Let's not a smize. Okay. Just look at look cool. So okay. they can see the difference. They can see the difference between mm -hmm. cool only and smizing. Okay? So we do cool only. Seven and look. Good. Now we look away and we do smizing. And one, two, look. Good? Now let's go back to normal. <laughs> so you can give a lot of different feelings with the eyes. And this is not just for posing. This is not just for the picture or the selfie. It's when you talk to people. And mm -hmm. if you wanna, you wanna project good energy, good vibes, and you want them to like you, you can smile with the eyes, right? Like we did to each other when we just met. We liked each other, so we were like, Hi, you know, that you can do on your own with whoever you like or you want to catch.